Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video on DC Legends. I gotta say, I'm really debating if I should get another gem pack. And they added a lot of stuff into the game I also want to talk about. First, let's go into Hero Challenge. Really cool stuff. As you can see, the multiverse collapse. Supergirl, you have the Flash, you have Firestorm. Really amazing stuff there. Let's get back out of here. And what we're going to talk about in this video is multiple things. I'm going to first... Do a little calculation with you guys with the essence gem that is available. This pack that that is available during the holidays, which is they're gonna give you about double the amount of gems that you would have originally gotten for a hundred dollar pack. And then we'll talk about about you know the time challenges. They made changes in there, the time challenge and the hero challenge. And then we'll go into the hero. There's some new stuff in the hero, but let's go into the calculation. Alright guys, we're back here with the calculator. This is the thing I love because I'm able to show you guys what's happening. So let's say it's $100, $160 for me. If it's $100 for you, let's say it's, if it's 100 bucks, you're playing the game for 12 months. Let's say you're playing it for one entire year. Unless you're playing to quit the next day or maybe the next month, then it's probably not worth it. But hey, if you're playing, you're playing to play it for your, like one year. I've already played it for 1.5 years, right? Because I was playing it in beta. Live, you don't get that. You're, you know, some people have been asking me, how did I get so many characters so quickly? Well, I've been playing it since beta for 1.5 years. So, you know, obviously it's a bit different. So $100, if you're playing it for 12 months, you know, divided by 12, right, you're really paying about $8.3 for me. Unfortunately, also I want to stress that if you, you know, if your currency fluctuates, right, I used to be playing 100 bucks. I used to be paying 100 bucks for everything because my currency was strong. Now I'm paying $160. I don't know if next year I might be paying $200. So it's very scary times. Um, but anyways, let's go back here. About $100, right? And for me, it's $160. So if I'm going to play it for a year, which is 12 months, it's about $13.3 for a month. All right, let's give a random number. Let's say $300. Let's say you put $300 for three Essence Packs. We already got two Essence Packs. So $300, if you're playing it for 12 months, it's $25 per month. And I didn't even buy $300 yet. And let's divide that even further. $300, right? Let's say, you know, you bought $300 and you're going to play divided by 365 days because that's how many days are in a year. So you're paying under a dollar per day. So, you know, obviously I think that's, that's not bad. Um, also, one of the reasons why it's not bad is because when I do buy stuff, it also ensures that the game is alive. I know some of you want the game to die. I don't know why, but it's very strange. Even for some of the other games like Transformers Age of Extinction, if you checked out my TV channel, I've been doing a lot of Transformers stuff uh, from Transformers the game to Fall of Cybertron and stuff like that. And the one that got shut down was Age of Extinction, the one from 2014. And I love that game. It was an endless runner type of game. Unfortunately, what happened was that nobody was buying the cyber credits there and they shut it down, which was really disappointing because I'm trying to go back there and, hey, let's check out some of the cool characters like Optimus Prime and things like that. And I can't go in. It's like game has been discontinued and you can't play anymore. So really when I do buy the stuff in the game, it really supports free to play for other players to be able to access the game and actually play it. So going back in here after we've done the calculation, I do, you know, anybody else that does buy the stuff, I do want to thank you for uh, supporting the game. And of course, the viewers of this video, thank you so much for supporting the video. If you haven't liked the video, please be sure to like the video. But I want to go on in here today because I saw something that was really, really exciting. I mean, we were... You know, I was thinking, hey, you might get one character, but no, they're giving us three new characters. This is just... I don't know what to say other than spectacular. This is just spectacular. You know, here's a Green Lantern sector of Sector 3014. And let's go back here. There's another Green Lantern of Sector 128. 
eight seven. Let's go back here. Another one. This Jessica Cruz, amazing stuff. Another Green Lantern. Just saying that there's so many characters and content. It's just spectacular. But anyways, uh, just wanted to go over the. I mean, I'll go over a bit more, and we'll go into battle. But first, I'm thinking. I'm really debating. I think I should really do this because. I'm not sure if it's going to cost $200 next year for me. All right, guys, we're here in, you know, the one coin of Volt. There's about 51 minutes left. I got to say, when this video is released, it'll probably be over. But I'm going to pick it up. All right, there we go. Now, that is our year. I'm not buying anymore. All right, guys, we're back. And I got to say that when I was looking at this, I thought that my account was broken or something was wrong. I thought, you know, I'm sitting here looking at it. And I see like up to 100 hero fragments for this green special. Well, not special, but this regular essence. And I tapped in here. What I saw was today only 66% extra free use essence gems. When I saw essence gem, right, that was the premium currency right to collect 25 50 75 or 100 hero fragments this is the best best offer so far so far if you haven't picked it up yeah i'll just i just came on in here to to see if that's called essence this is called essence the this one is called essence gem so i'm not sure if they messed up but if i were you if i was playing this game hopefully you guys are playing this game i would get this like right now before they fix it I, I don't know. It might have been a mistake. It might not be. I mean, they might have named it wrong. But anyways, I, I want to get it. So let's get it. This is great stuff. All right. We got 25. 50. Oh, my God. Look at this. 25 again. 25. Okay. So you that's all you can get. But we, you know, I think, I guess I didn't get 100. But hey, it's okay. So anyways, if you haven't picked up the pack, I highly recommend that you get the pack. That was basically free stuff. Let's get back out of here. What we're going to do in this video, I guess, then, is to go over Cyborg. I was going to go over another character, but now that we have enough to rank him up into a legendary, we're going to do that. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, I'm looking at the thing. I was thinking... Did they mark that correctly? Like, <laughs> it felt like, you know, it was an error because it said Essence Gem, right? And, again, these are called Essences, the green ones. The green one's called Essences or Essence, and this one is called Gems, right? So, I was looking at it. Anyways, you want to pick it up. If I were you, I would go on into the game and just get it right now before they try to fix it or anything if it was an error if it's not then i guess it's a christmas gift right but anyways let's go back over here cyborg this is the regular version let's just spin it around a bit and show you guys what it, he looks like we already looked at this character but i think he changed it or they changed it from the original beta i've played this game since beta just letting you guys know again so this is what he looks like let's make him into a legendary or legend. Dun, dun, dun. Bam! <laughs> Not only can we make him into, you know, a legendary character, we can rank him up again, too. So that's a good thing. You notice that he, he has... That, you know, his arm is really fiery now. So that's really cool. And he's way more cyborg than before. Look at him. All right. So that's what he looks like. Let's rank him up again. Those are his stats. I got to let you guys know this right now. I don't use this character much. So I have no clue if he's great or whatnot. I mean, we got we gotten him to legendary and we even ranked him up. But I haven't used this character. You may have noticed he's level 16 or 15, somewhere around there. Chance to gain. We can look at the attack. That's all. But I'm not going to give my recommendation on it. For anybody like that have been using ca this character, let me know in the comments below. Let others know in the comments below if uh, this character is good or not. Because for me, I, he's level 16. Like I was saying, I barely used him. And I, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to level him up. The reason is, 
I'm only focusing on four characters. That's what you should do. Don't focus on every character. When you start focusing on every character, you're pretty much going to not do well. I, you know, because you're spreading your resources across multiple characters, right? So anyways, again, these are his attacks. These three and these are just passive and team leader. Let's go on into battle and check it out. Alright guys, we're here with a regular basic stage. I'm just going to put two characters in here. I usually play this stage with the speed force because I need the fragments. But this time we're going to go in here live. Hopefully we don't kill them too quickly. So gain speed or three speed ups. Let's do this. We'll check out this move, Charged Cannon. Oh, that thing looks sick. Oh, missed. Are you serious? How could you miss? All right, so that thing missed, unfortunately. And I didn't do anything. It, it just missed. And that blast looks so cool, too, and it missed. So those are all three of its moves. Let's do the speed up again. I'm sorry. I mean, Green Lantern just, just took him out. Let's replay that battle. Because I usually look for the fragments in this battle, so... I'm going to need to replay this battle anyways. Alright, let's watch the charged cannon again. This time, hopefully, he doesn't miss. Oh, okay, so I get it. Heavy damage to an enemy. 30% chance to hit. Alright, now that I'm thinking... You know, like I was saying, I don't use this character that much, guys. So, now I notice he only has 30% chance to hit the enemy, which is pretty bad. Yeah, well, for, for that chance where he did hit him, that did a lot of damage. But 30% chance is very, very low in my opinion. Let's go back to map. And I'm going to finish this. I'm going to finish this. And this. And that. I didn't get anything. Wow. Okay, I didn't get anything. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to go into battle. As you can see, I'm still trying to win this thing. Unfortunately, I do want Supergirl. Let's go back to my first team. I have multiple teams. Let's battle this this guy. But I was, you know, the biggest surprise for me was the 30% chance to hit for a charge. I'm just looking at who I should hit. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. I don't like that guy. I was thinking Doomsday might be a pretty good character. Because I haven't used him yet, but I've seen that he... It was either Doomsday or Grundy. They kept on coming back. Which was pretty upsetting to me. I was like, why do you keep coming back? All right, now that he's one-on-one, -on -one, this is going to be easy. All right, that guy's gone. I'm sorry. 
but I needed the points. I'm only picking people with low characters to fight. That's, I mean, there's really no point for me to waste one of my turns or one of my energy and then, you know, pay more <laughs> to buy energy so I could purposely fight someone I, you know, I would die on. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. This one, I probably want to take out Hal first. Or maybe not. Because Harley's going to provoke the, my team. Alright, we're out of energy. There's nothing we can do, unfortunately. Nothing at all. Alright. They changed the live event, so I have to redo this entire thing. The beginning should be relatively easy. So you need to have rank 5 characters to play this. I've cracked the magic of the book of life or unlife. The stuff of legends. That's done. Let's go back to the map. And we can still play this. Oh, that's great. Oh, they changed this so you need to have legendary now. That's a bit tougher. So you need at least four legendary to play that. Uh oh. Victory! We won! Okay, we only can do one more battle. You notice available plays. 
Are you serious? Okay, so now I'm taking out my best character. This is... I don't know how I'm... How <coughs> I don't know how I'm gonna win this battle. Because these are my... I, don't, I didn't even level up these characters. They just removed my best characters. Which is obviously horrible. Oh my god, it costs 500. Okay, I can't do this. No. I mean... So we're done. We have nothing else we can do, unfortunately. A good thing is we can collect our daily mission rewards. But I'm surprised. It costs 500 to refresh. Alright, so there we are. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. It looks like, you know, we gone over everything from Cyborg to some of the battles and things like that. Again, we just gotten Cyborg to Legendary 2, surprisingly, and he's only level 16. So here's the character once again. Let's do a little twirl between the old character and the new one, Legendary. And then that'll be it. Please be sure to like the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You know, give a bit of support to the video. Anyways, we'll be back in the next video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And hopefully this video gone over everything that you wanted to see.